if you ain't got your sh- just together. You, you, you curse on that? I don't curse. I admit, I use his voice to praise God. I come over a little bit. Ah! Did you grind it out today? Did you? And today's gonna be a, it's gonna be a doozy of a topic. <laughs> hey, what's up, Armour Shot? And I'm Keisha. Hang with the Joneses, episode number 62. Oh, 62. Like, share, subscribe. Quick, um, thoughts and prayers, of course, not rhetorically, but literally, to the people down in Louisiana. Crazy out here. Short hurricane. Definitely hoping to get the support and things that they need. Um, Even our soldiers in Afghanistan. Well, the people in general in Afghanistan. It's crazy. Yeah, really. It's crazy out there, too. But yeah, yo, a lot of stuff going on in, in the world. Um, yeah, stay mindful. Stay, 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 stay vigilant and stay black if you're black. Anyway. <laughs> Do anything. <laughs> um, quick topic today. Keisha shows is on, so she don't want to give y'all the time that, that y'all really need. No, because they all watch the same these, show. Even though, these, even though these things are DVR'd anyway. But yeah. We don't have DVR. Um, it's that line. I mean, it's virtual DVR. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube, <laughs> oh, t- no. on YouTube TV, you get a limited hour. You can just play back. You get a limited. Wind it back. back. No, no. Go ahead. Oh Go God, ahead. Yo. All right. So, quick topic round. I uh, wanted to talk about basically mm-hmm. familiar Bible verse for everybody. Love the wife of your youth. You know what I'm saying? Or enjoy the wife of the youth or, of, of your youth. Okay. And it's really in response to like like a, like a tweet thread from a couple of days ago in response to. Um, Del Curry and his wife um, splitting up and having a divorce. Now I'm gonna uh, put the the tweet thread in in, in the show notes because it's long and it's hilarious, but there's a lot of truth to it. Did you mm-hmm. actually read it? I read part of it. I didn't know it was that long. Oh, <laughs> when he says long, I was so, like, uh oh, maybe I didn't read something. Yeah, you know, it's like 20 tweets. Oh oh, I thought he was gonna say pages. I'm saying I'm definitely nah, reading that. Nah, nah, it's like 20. I don't read no books right now. I'm in school. Wow, that's <laughs> heard it here first, guys. Keisha don't care about school or education. No, I said I'm not in school. <laughs> that's what I say. That's funny, man. But yeah, because it was it's it's real funny because I know, like for me, like we'll be together eighteen, 18 years. years. Yeah, come eighteen kids. Eight, come come. Shut up, man. Why y'all make everything a song? You know the time, right? Yes, you know, yeah. So my eyes getting low. I um yeah, I was looking at I was thinking just how long we've been together mm-hmm. and also was looking at what it would be like if I wasn't married and I was really quote unquote out here in these streets and going through this like just reading this like yo, like it would absolutely suck. I don't think you'd be a God fearing man. Nah, I would be a uh, a, uh, I would be a male Jezebel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd be a flesh desiring whore monger. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Like I don't think that I would really do. I, like I would be such a hypocrite. Like I would be just. A, I'd just be a typical dude. Like who who just be out here just doing what he feels like doing and even still have like, I got three girls. So I will be just giving this very mixed message about relationships and how a woman should be treated the whole nine to them as well. Who so said you had children. I'm just saying like, I'm just saying like if in, in the premise of getting divorced right now, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like that's really the kind of kind of the premise of it. Somebody who's been married for a long time and then get divorced like years and years later. What do in you the do? present day. Like I don't even know. Like for me, like like that part of it doesn't really it, it doesn't make sense to me. And it's very um it would be very scary. And to think about just the I don't like the three things I don't like wasting, and that's time, money, and emotion. And that is mm-hmm. a lot of what a marriage is. It's a lot of time. It's a hell of a lot of money, and it's a whole lot of emotion. <laughs> you know, say food. No, 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 no. Food, <laughs> man, go to bed, y'all. This is definitely gonna be short. So, <laughs> food. <laughs> and you ate. <laughs> I fed you before I left, y'all. Want some food right now? But those three things are definitely very 
very crucial part of of a marriage. Aside from like love and all the other things, but mm-hmm. for me, those are three things I learned early on. Like I really didn't want to waste. So for me, I would have to find a way in my mind to really reconcile this not being a waste of time, money, and emotion. And that would take me a while. And see, part of it is to, okay, just for disclaimer, if you're in an unhealthy or abusive relationship, don't matter if you're in it one, one year or 50 years, get out. Of course. So that, just that disclaimer. That is always you a know, disclaimer. Because I don't later on come back somewhere nah, else. Nah, just nah, disclaimer. Nah, 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 nah. Always disclaimer. Um, but could you do you see the time as wasted, or could you see that it was it was the journey, it's the lessons learned, and it's time for a new one? No, like <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't no. Like, like I like being okay, being a teacher, I was mm-hmm. teaching English. One of the, the the prompts for the SOL here in the glorious state of Virginia is: is it the destination or is it the journey? And like I hate that question. And what what I, makes you hate that question? Because I like I kids have kind of answer the same thing. It's just repetitive to me. So like me hearing it is like, like it's, it's cringe for me. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, I understand all of that. Mm-hmm. But if the destination was a successful marriage, and the journey led to an unsuccessful marriage ending up in a divorce, then all that journey to me led to a place I didn't want to end up in. So it's for mm-hmm. me. It would be a waste, especially on at, at the onset of it. That's why I said it's taking me a long time to mm-hmm. reconcile that. Like I already know. Well, I can say that journey is, is during that journey is the times where you can cultivate, get pruned, plant stuff. It's the time that journey that is lessons that you have learned if you didn't just focus on the destination. And that's sometimes for me the hard part that fo- just because the destination wasn't what you expected doesn't mean it was all damn to hell. But to me, it would be. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. Like, like just, just knowing me and, and knowing how how I kind of process mm-hmm. stuff. Like, it would be. It would take me a while to quote unquote get over. And I don't even know if I could ever get over this. That would be that. Would, and see, and don't get me wrong. I do think that would be a long time. You know, when your children are really, really grown and you have grandchildren, and decide. Don't get me wrong. I I, I understand that. Um, but I'm just looking at how much they have accomplished together. And I do understand, like, what do you... I think this is the time because they have no children at home. They don't have any responsibility to someone else that they can go out and do whatever they want or reinvent themselves or be who they were thought they were and they might shut down for the marriage. Yeah, but but a lot of times, like, that really doesn't happen. It's It's... It depends on who. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's it can be a real mixed bag at times. Mm-hmm. But I, I I know for me, like it would be very, it'd be a very like precarious time for mm-hmm. me. And of course, for me, out if I had my magic wand, outside looking, um, in I would I would say stay together. Of course, it's you no know, stay together. But if that's not possible, what do you do? You sit there and still. But heads and fight over the destination, or you realize this is a journey and this our, our destination went as far as we can go. That's rough, man. Yeah. And I agree because they have been on that path for a long, long time. You came back out here in the streets. What does that look like for you? Like, are you even up on technology? <laughs> so you know what I mean. Like, yeah, because like it's almost like getting out of jail. <laughs> So you just compared marriage to prison. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. You know I'm tired. Leave me alone. That's crazy. <laughs> so I'm locked up right now. Got Don't it. let me out. Oh man. It's yo, know, it's just so much stuff, yo. Ball and chain. So much stuff, man. Like it was funny, like dude was like, what he say? You gonna be chasing Seattle with Red Bull, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> he was and then just going even, in, and know? I think also be, them being separated, they have another caveat to kind of include now that when you they're out there dating, whenever that may be, or they might say this is it, I don't want to be nobody else but me. Uh, but they do decide to engage in other romantic relationship, wondering that if if this person is for you or they trying to get into the family because of their son. What are you laughing at, Julie? 
You better leave your wife for 30 years till you wake up and your body is surrounded by rose quartz and moon water. <laughs> oh, man, this dude, yo, Solomon, Missouri, yo, you were you were in your bag that day. But, yeah, I, I feel you. Like, there's mm-hmm. this whole other... Comp- you got to remember, too, like, Dell was already... He was already paid because he was a basketball player himself. Mm-hmm. So it's not like he didn't have a choir privilege, you know. So that that component is was already it was already there. See, and that's exactly what I mean. That when you connect with this new person, if if that's the route, you don't know they're in it for you or the curvy name. <sighs> Definitely. Yeah. I, um, and same thing for mom. You don't know the you for the curvy name. Yeah, that's the hard part. I. I I don't know what happened, but I yeah. wish they could have worked it out. Um, I'm sure for, you know, but the, even for this to be a topic in this headlines, it's like, why? Uh, but that's that's <laughs> people kinda, divorce yeah, every all, day all, all the time, you know. And this happened like months ago, and then people just find it out now, right? So like, yeah, there's there's this this. I mean, because for me, the headlines is the headline, but there was really the the it. Like the story for me is like how do, like how do you deal or how do you stay together or how do you kind of work stuff out? Like even even if it's irreconcilable differences, which it was on their part, like how can you as an individual see that it's actually better to stay together? You know, because there there's some situations when, of course, you shouldn't. If there's an amount of I guess of course abuse, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be getting beat up. Male or female. Oh, I would say infidelity. And I'm about to say that. Mm-hmm. Infidelity. Of course, like, if you feel like they out here uh, beating the ski in and, you, and it ain't you, then you should definitely oh consider. God, she need to take a nap. I'm just saying, like, you should definitely consider that, hey, like, this thing, nah, I, I can't keep doing this. But sometimes it, it could be, and once again, outside looking in, the... The marriage is dissolved. You you two were just two roommates who was just underneath a license. Yeah, because I mean, because even um like even with us, especially how we talk about how marriages shift and it's definitely you, it's, it's different phases and people and if you don't want to be down for somebody else's change, then there's going to be conflicts. So like even what's required of you before. Something else may be required of you presently, and if you don't want to do that, then there's going to be an issue. Or be tired doing the work. <laughs> oh, like, definitely. Like, no, this is too much. Yeah, like I'm just done. Because sometimes you can may see that that drift in your relationship. Like, oh, we finally need to come to some, but you kind of like I'm I'm tired. Like, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Yeah, and 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 that's a, and that's not a it's not a great place to be. Mm-mm, exactly. Because then the the likelihood of a separation is is very high, mm-hmm. you and know, when it could have been something that could have actually been been resolved. And I always wonder, you know, therapists always have a bunch of questions in mind, like, what was the final straw? What made, how long were they really not together before they became public and not together? Yeah. You know, because sometimes, you know, usually there's a period where they're not together where no one knows you know how how long was that, um, and how are they dealing with this being out in the public? Yeah, this 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 affects like a lot of people, you know, mm-hmm. and then even like like um, Steph and, and and Seth, like their own children, and then other other brother, I forgot his name, sorry. Like they have to deal with this too because that's mm-hmm. their parents, so there's still some sort of. Um, there's still some sort of separation with them because mm-hmm. now their lives have changed. I'm pretty sure yes. they have their own families and children. So there is now, do I go with my mom? Do I hang out with my dad? On and holidays, you, yeah, are we together? Like, 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 are we mom? Like, yeah, house, dad, yeah, house. Yeah. Even the grandchildren, you yeah. might see dad over here. I yeah, mean, granddad and yeah, grandpa. Yeah, like, it, it, it is. Even, even though they're grown, you know what I'm saying? It's still that sort of... Especially if they try to... If they're, they're, that relationship was kind of like their role model or their example. Oh, yeah. It was like, what? Y'all ain't together? Like, like what or, is it for me? Or, you know, if, I'm not saying this is them, but if they have ever had the thought, like, never speak about divorce... And then you see some two people you admire divorcing. It's like, wait, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we say no divorce. Why yeah. y'all divorcing? And, and and then you start to kind of um, 
looking like look inwardly and you say, mm-hmm. hey, like if they can't do it, like how am I going to be able to do right. it? Right. You know? It could be a scary place. Definitely a scary place. I mean, because cause even like with us, the um like divorce like isn't like something that we'd be like like yo like threatening or like pulling out our back pocket like yeah, I'm gonna divorce you because no that's... more <laughs> we haven't did that in a long time nah like like even before like it wasn't something like you don't do or oh, I'm out I'm out. I want a divorce no like, no that's, no that's never been but said. we read one of the book I think it was by um Courtney McBeth about taking divorce off the table yeah and ever since we encountered that book that has been I think like. We usually, that's not our solution. Nah, that's, that's, like, you go in your corner, <laughs> I go in mine, we'll come back later on. But the D word is like, we're not. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I, even early on for me, like, like I didn't go with it, but that being an, an, an option. Like, yo, like, I'm not getting married just a, a couple of months later, get divorced. Because if that was the case, mm-hmm. we should have been got divorced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. You know, is is definitely... It's real, and if people don't understand like how real marriage is and how real marriage can be, then you may not want to really take them vows because if you are, if you really want to be down for somebody forever, you really gonna have to be down with them forever, ever through everything. And this and it's a Ooh. lot, and there's a lot of stuff that like even right now I don't really want to be down for my fam. Like I don't really want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But since I'm married, I it, it don't it ain't no option. It ain't no option. Like, you so gotta be like, down. Yes, yeah, like I gotta be down with you know. Mm-hmm. And even and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, because there's so much that I can negotiate, and there's some things that are just just non-negotiable for Keisha. Mm-hmm. So it's like, nah, this is it. Mm-hmm. And I gotta be like, am I gonna acquiesce or am I gonna be a jerk about it? Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah, they're, they're, we talked about before, and when it comes to negotiation, come to the table. These are the bottom lines. And don't get me wrong, don't mean over time, 18 years, that bottom lines change. But this is it. And you just have to adjust, and especially if you say marriage. Um, your vows was to death do us part, and we meant to death do us part. Yeah, you know. definitely. Well, we're going to start right there. Cause she, he almost made me miss my show. The hours, the, the hours late, Saints. Yeah, but we yeah. gotta get kids ready. Plus, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Work. I hope um you guys have enjoyed this. If you stay this long, of course you are the real MVP. Make sure you join us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Hang with the Joneses, so we can do other things and also gain uh more money so we can put back into this to give back to you all see this is reciprocity working here but yeah that's all we got um stuff up on the channel reviews of course we got reviews coming for what if marvel what if on wednesday me and maybe the kids it didn't come last week so we'll see you to wake up for this week all right that's it later